Hello, I'm John Dean. You know, the world has never been more crowded, and yet there seems to be a spirit of loneliness prevailing in so many people's lives today. There could be money and power and sex and drugs and even crowds of people, but yet you feel there's nothing that can take away that loneliness that you feel in your heart. There's also a lot of people out there who have felt rejected all of their lives and they don't think they can do anything about it. You felt rejected in school because nobody wanted to be your friends. Can anybody identify with that? You feel rejected in marriage because your mate says things like, you can't do anything right. You feel rejected by your boss who never recognizes your good works or gives you a promotion. Why, you even start rejecting yourself by saying things like, I'll never be as good as they are. I'm not all that smart. I'm, I'm so plain that I'll never look nice. I'll never have anything in life. I'm at the top of my potential, and I can go no further than where I am right now. You see, all of these things are a lie from the devil because the Bible says that you are fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God. So why don't you talk to the Lord right now and invite him into your heart and let him turn that rejection around and so you'll be accepted. And when you do, you'll start looking at yourself differently. And when you start looking at yourself differently, others will start looking at you differently as well. So the next time you look in the mirror, why don't you, why don't you talk to yourself and just say, you're a winner. You're made in the image of God. You're an overcomer and you're gonna have a good day. You see, the difference was made when you let Jesus come into your life because he's the only one that can really change us around and make us and bring us into the potential that we ought to be in. So friends, next time uh, you feel that way, why don't you just talk to the Lord and let him change things in your life. And by the way, send me a Facebook uh, when that happens because I, I want to rejoice with you and there's a lot of other people that you can encourage as well. So remember, until next time, You've had a minute with John.